Welcome to Part 7 of the Energy Code ACE Title 20 Compliance Training Series. There's a total of eight videos in the series, focusing on an introductory overview of key aspects of the Appliance Efficiency Regulations, what you need to know and do to certify products so they comply with the regulations, and how to verify that specific products comply. So be sure to check out the parts that apply to you. You can find them on the Energy Code ACE YouTube channel or on the training page of the Energy Code ACE website. In this module, we'll go over the process for modifying product information in the California Energy Commission, or CEC, Modernized Appliance Efficiency Database System, or MABES for short. This will include an overview of finding, changing, updating, or deleting appliance data. Let's begin with an overview of how to modify or delete appliance data. You can modify or delete product data either manually or by uploading an Excel template. There are certification packets for appliances on the CEC Appliance Efficiency Regulations website. The certification packets contain appliance-specific instructions on how to format product data when submitting to the MABES. These instructions should be followed when modifying product data as well. When changing product data, be sure that all unchanged fields match the original submission. For example, when uploading product data, you'll have to input the manufacturer name, model number, brand name, and other product-specific data. Only the fields you are changing should differ from the original submission. When deleting product data, you will resubmit the same data that you previously uploaded, but use the action code to indicate delete. When changing or deleting product data, either manually or through Excel, you'll use action codes to indicate what action you wish to perform. When modifying product data manually, select Delete or Change from the Action drop-down menu. When modifying product data with an Excel upload, you'll enter action codes in the Action column of the spreadsheet. Enter A to add a new model to the database, D to delete a model currently in the database, and C to change a model currently in the database. Now, let's move on to a demonstration of how to manage your account. First, log in to the MABES using your user ID and password. If your company is registered under more than one company name, select the type you wish to sign in with and click Next. On the blue ribbon at the top of the page, hover over Account Management and click Company Information. From this page, you'll be able to perform a number of actions. You can change company information, such as the company website, products you manufacture, or your address. You can add or change users associated with the account. You can also view your company's authorizations, such as your approved third-party certifier applications and approved appliances and test methods. If you'd like to make any changes to your company information, just input the new information and click Save at the top right corner of the page. Now we'll demonstrate how to add a new user to your MABES profile. First, you'll go to the Company Information Detail screen by hovering over Account Management on the blue ribbon at the top of the page and click Company Information. In the Users section in the middle of the page, click Add. Enter the new user information, including their name, email address, phone number, and user ID, and click Save. Then assign a user role, either External System Administrator or External Staff, and click Save. 
both the external system administrator and external staff will have the ability to add product data. However, the external system administrator also has the ability to add and remove users. After you designate the user role, click Go Back to return to the Company Information Detail page. Next, we'll go over how to change user information. Again, we'll go to the Company Information Details screen by hovering over Account Management on the blue ribbon at the top of the page and click Company Information. In the Users section in the middle of the page, click on Select next to the name of the user whose information you want to change. Enter any user changes you wish to make on this screen and click Save. You'll then be able to change user role or leave it as is. Click Save and then click Go Back to return to the Company Information Detail page. Now we will walk through how a manufacturer delegates its authority to submit appliance data to a third-party certifier. Log in to the MABES. If Company Type options are shown, select Manufacturer, then click on Next. Hover over the Applications tab on the blue ribbon at the top of the page and click Delegation of Authority Application. Select Search. Then select the desired third-party certifier. This form is used when a manufacturer delegates its authority to submit appliance data to a third-party certifier. It is submitted one time and remains in force permanently. The form is obtained, completed, signed, and submitted online through MABES. Certifying Company Provides information about the company and is autofilled by the MABES after selecting Search, then selecting the desired third-party certifier. Manufacturer Company Name, this is autofilled by the MABES based on login. And Declaration, this includes seven statements and you must affirm each one in order to submit the application. And now, let's walk through how to do a manual entry. Hover over the Applications tab on the blue ribbon at the top of the page and click Submit Application Data. If you are submitting data for Title 24 as well as Title 20, indicate that by clicking the box. Enter the Appliance category and Appliance Type for the appliance you wish to change and select Manual under Type of Entry. Click Next to continue to the Appliance Submittal Declaration page. Next, complete the Appliance Submittal Declaration. The certifying company information will be autofilled with the information from the account you chose to log in with. If you are submitting information as a third-party certifier, you will need to fill in manufacturer information for the manufacturer you are submitting product data for. Click Search and select the correct company and contact name you are submitting data for. If you are a manufacturer and are certifying product data for your own company, you will leave this blank. If you already have a test laboratory associated with this account, select it from the list. Or you can click Add to add the test lab you've used to test the data for this submission. Finally, read through the seven statements under Declaration, and if you agree, add your name, title, and the date, and click Next. Under Action, select Change or Delete. Enter all of the current product data and click Save to see a summary of the models you have entered during this session. Click Next to be taken to the First Stage Validation page. Here you can correct any errors identified and complete the submission. As a reminder, if you are changing product data, all unchanged data 
must exactly match what is already listed in the MAVES. If you are deleting products, all data must exactly match what is listed in the MAVES. In the Appliance Data list, you'll see the summary of the models you just entered. Verify the information is correct, or click on Select next to an item on the list if you would like to modify that item. To delete an item, check the box next to the Appliance Category name and click Delete. From there, you can either click Add to add more appliances or click Next to go to the Results screen. The Results screen will show your past and failed submissions. Appliances in the Past section have completed the first stage validation and are ready for submission. If there are appliances listed in the Failed section, you'll have to correct that data before proceeding. You can find detailed instructions on how to do this in Part 6, Certifying Products to the MABES. Enter the date you'd like the models to be made available to the public and click Submit. After you submit the product data, you'll see a successful submission message on the screen. You'll also receive an email from the CEC acknowledging the receipt and listing the submittal number. In this part of the demonstration, we'll walk through how to make changes to product data through an Excel entry. Download the appliance-specific template from the certification packet on the CEC's website. Go to the CEC's website www.energy.ca.gov slash files slash certification dash packets dash appliances to find the appliance specific Excel templates within the certification packet. The certification packet will also contain helpful instructions for using the Excel templates. Prepare the Excel template for the appliance type you're working with. And remember, if you're making a change, all unchanged data must exactly match what is currently in the MABES. Only change the data you're looking to update. In the Action Field column, enter C. As mentioned earlier, to delete an appliance, all data must exactly match what is currently in the MABES for the appliance you would like to delete. In the Action Field column, enter D. To upload these changes into the MABES, Hover over the Applications tab on the blue ribbon at the top of the page and click Submit Appliance Data. Select the appliance category and appliance type for the data you are uploading. For type of entry, choose Upload Excel and click Next. The process of modifying and deleting appliance data is very similar to adding appliance data. Watch Part 6, Certifying Products to the MABES to see how this is done. Next, you'll be taken to the Appliance Submittal Declaration page. The certifying company information will be autofilled with the information from the account you chose to log in with. If you are submitting information as a third-party certifier, you will need to fill in manufacturer information for the manufacturer you are submitting product data for. Click Search and select the correct company and contact name you are submitting data for. If you are a manufacturer and are certifying product data for your own company, you will leave this blank. If you already have a test laboratory associated with this account, select it from the list. Or you can click Add to add the test lab you've used to test the data for this submission. Finally, read through the seven statements under Declaration, and if you agree, add your name, title, and the date, and click Next. Click on Choose File and select your filled out Excel spreadsheet and click Next. New appliance data will appear on the appliance data list. On this screen you can verify the data is correct. Click Next to go to the validation screen and correct any errors that have been flagged. Finally, enter the display by date and click Submit. After you submit the product data, you'll see a successful submission message on the screen. You'll also receive an email from the CEC acknowledging the receipt and listing the submittal number. Okay, let's go over the key points from this session. 
Only manufacturers or third-party certifiers can modify or delete existing appliances. The process for modifying and deleting appliances is very similar to the process for adding new appliances. You can refer to our other trainings to learn the process of adding new appliances. To modify appliances, all data needs to be entered, not just the data you are modifying. The unchanged data must appear exactly as it is in the MABES. You can modify or delete appliances either manually or through an Excel upload. Thank you for joining us for Part 7 of the Title 20 video series. Be sure to check out the other sections that are of interest. If you have questions and comments about the Title 20 technical requirements or compliance process, you can contact us at energycodeace.com by clicking the Contact Us link at the bottom of the page. You'll need to be signed in to Energy Code Ace to access the request form. Or reach out to the CEC by emailing or phoning their Title 20 call center. If you think this content was helpful, please consider clicking the like button. And we encourage you to add a comment to give us more detailed feedback. To stay up to date on Title 20 and the latest Energy Code Ace offerings that will help you comply, be sure to follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube.